Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of Ask Scrivener Coach. Today's question comes from Jack. And Jack asks, I'm loving Scrivener, but I hate the font that it comes with. Is there any way to change the default font inside my editor? Or am I just seriously stuck looking at this? You know, this is one of those questions that I get frequently, and I'm happy to say that, nope, you are not stuck with it. In fact, that font that you see in the editor is strictly for your benefit only. We can change it to our heart's content, and when it's time to export, we can override it with the push of a couple buttons. So if you're struggling with that too, let's check out how to change that. Okay, guys, when you uh, open up Scrivener and you notice the text that comes standard with that editor, if it's anything other than text that you absolutely love, if you don't love looking at it, then let's change it. There's no reason for that. So here we go. I'm going to show you how to do that. First, we're going to be in the Mac version. Then I'll pop over to the PC version for you PC users, and I'll show you how to do it over there. So here we are in Scrivener, and what you're going to do on the Mac version is you're going to click on Scrivener, go to uh, Preferences. Once you go over to Preferences, Notice it brings up this box here, this window. Let me bring this over to center screen. Now, this is a sample of our editor. The way we can change this is, see this little A up in the corner here? I'm going to click in here, choose this A. Once I do that, it brings up my standard formatting menu here. Change it to whatever you like. I've got mine set to Helvetica. And I'm going to close that out. And then you change it here. And then once you're done, you're done. Mac automatically saves your changes there, so it updates it live. Keep in mind, guys, that this change will not take place with text that's already in the editor. It'll happen with every new document. Now, something else really quick you can do here if you're on the Mac version. Say I have something in this editor. I've already formatted it. You can simply click this, Use Formatting in Current Editor, and that will automatically bring over that formatting and throw it in here. Pretty easy, right, guys? So... Again, get something you love, and then in the end, when you go to compile, you can choose a one-click override to change all your font to something else. So let's say your editor requires a different font, no biggie. Let me show you exactly where you can go, change that over. So here we are in the compile screen, you guys, and check it out. I'm down here in footnotes and comments, and if you look at this, there's this override font, okay? Let's say your editor requires this Courier 10 to be the font. Simply click this box, and it will override all font that's over here in the editor or anything throughout your project, and it will automatically export it to that font. There you go. That's all you need to know. Now let's pop over to the PC version so you guys can see how to do it over there. All right, here we are in the PC version. Now for you guys, PC users, you're going to go to Tools, then we're going to go to Options. Now we're going to come down here to Editor. You see this button here with Editor? Click that. Here we go. We have the same editor option here. Click that lovely little A. Choose your favorite font of all time. Once you select it, click OK. Then click Apply. Click OK, and you're good to go. That's how we've changed the font in our editor to something you love instead of something you hate. So there you have it. You are not stuck with that font in the editor. And guys, if you want more tips and tricks like this, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you'll be notified of all the new training that comes out. And also hop on over to the blog at ScrivenerCoach.com. Make sure you sign up for the free Scrivener mini course there. And I'll look to see you in the next video. Cheers.